Hello there. I know I'm smiling right now. I hope you guys are smiling right now. It is time to try out The Wire, ladies and gentlemen. A show that has been heavily recommended for ages on the channel. Whether you're new here, whether you're an existing subscriber, this show has been recommended for time. And I'm at that point at the channel at the moment where I'm testing out pilots for other shows um, just to see which one does the best. And it's the best time to try it because I'm currently in the final season of Sopranos and I'm banging through that show. However, we need to solidify a show that we are going to carry over after Sopranos and possibly two shows. Um, so we'll see which ones do well and we are here to watch The Wire, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ellie Moses, a 24-year-old law and film student here for Senior Share. Absolutely shooting his shot. This is The Wire, episode one of season one. Let's get into it. Let's absolutely smash it and let's run it. Let's go. This episode's titled The Target. And every Friday night, we're in the alley behind the cut rate, we rolling bones, you know? I mean, all the boys from around the way, and we roll to late. Alley crap game, right? Like every time, we snot and fade a few shooters. Play it out to the pots deep, snatch and run. You'd wait till there was cash on the ground, then you'd grab the money and run away? You let him do that? I mean, we'd catch him and beat his ass, but ain't nobody never go past that. Why'd you even let him in the game? He always stole the money. Why'd you let him play? God. Listen. <laughs> Barksdale in part 12, right? Huh? Project murder, West Side. Oh, uh, which one now? Uh, never mind. Let's Which one now? That minute. says a lot about the area. Where are you gonna be? I'm gonna drop this off on Nathan, then I'm going to the office. And don't answer no phones, bunk. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, we assembling the Avengers in this show. He, he's right there. For the record, the witness has identified the defendant, D'Angelo Barksdale. Your witness. Thank you. <clears throat> Just one question, Mr. Gant. Had you ever seen this young man before the day in question? And were you employed as a security guard on May 4th, the day of the shooting? Uh-huh. And what were your duties on that date? I was in the booth of 221. <laughs> and is that the guard booth in the lobby of the Fremont Avenue high-rise? Uh, yes. And you're behind bulletproof glass with a, a clear view of the lobby? Uh, yeah. Good. The man who was knocked down had a gun. And do you see that man in the courtroom today? Nope. Yeah, she glanced past him. She glanced Excuse past me. him. It's all about the eye contact, here. the body language. You don't... Witness tampering, jury tampering. You testified. Ms. Lyles, do you remember when Detective Barlow showed you this photo array? Yeah. Good. I call your attention to your initials, which identify this photo as the man who shot Mr. Blanchard. Did you write your initials above that photograph? He ain't the one that did the shooting. But you identified him. Well, that's because he looked like the boy that did it. See, the, the one that did it, I saw him come in the building a week later. You saw someone else you thought did the shooting. Reasonable doubt. Right. Reasonable doubt. Later. Yeah, Detective Barlow, on um, on May 13th at 2 p.m. But he didn't call me back. Nicely done. You called Detective Barlow? <laughs> yeah, twice. Yeah, I wrote down in the law. Hang on, you fucking thief. What's up? You been down the hall lately? What? Your case just hit the wall. Barksdale's crew, they turned it. Two eyewitnesses and a statement. No fucking way, pal. Attorney's office, <laughs> Go check there it out, no pal. Way in hell I am paying that. Ugly little fuck almost shit his pants. He was so scared. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> 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 Two guns. Remember? Nothing. Two? So go keep it. He's up. 
Lousy, lousy, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just get the feel already from this, like, for opening 10 minutes that there are going to be a lot of intense sequences in this show. And I feel like with the way um, the sound design is constructed and from the first 10 minutes, I'm getting the feel that it's going to be a Sopranos-like-esque show in terms of, like... It's going to be no reliance on traditional music or score inserted into the scenes to create that tension. It's going to rely on the characters. It's going to rely on the atmosphere of the location. And from what you've seen already, um, I have no idea what city this pla takes place in or what um, town it does, but it looks run down. Um, it looks like it's flooded with crime. Um, and it's going to be a lot of like commentary on like um, the judicial system, um, the system itself about society um, and the way these sort of like communities are run and how people are born into this lifestyle so it's gonna be very interesting to see and immediately right there you had the change to a little bit of the handheld shaky cam um when it came to sort of like the police um um the police you know um in, uh, interfering um with the car and obviously completing the arrest All so rise. i cannot wait part 12 of the circuit court of baltimore city is now in session be seated madam four lady you have a unanimous verdict as to the defendant, D'Angelo Barksdale, how say you to the charge of murder in the first degree? Not guilty. Not guilty. How say you to the charge of murder in the second degree? Not guilty. Woo! <laughs> he beat the case. Be seated. Be seated. You, Daddy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Order. Yeah, sure. At least you made him work for it. <laughs> he gonna rap about it now. It's gonna the be on the next be album. For its services in this case. The EP coming out today. Deputies will return defendant Barksdale to pretrial for processing prior to his release. Yo, he must have had Saul Goodman as his lawyer, man. Think I give a fuck? I'll be chalking you off one night. You have a nice day. You're stringing. Let's go. Yo, Idris Elba's character is going to be gangster. I can tell already. He clearly pulled some strings to, you know, Detective. get this boy off this case. Detective. Detective. Judge asked to speak with you. Stringer Bell. Yeah, that was him in court with the legal pad and the glasses. Scaring the living shit out of every witness. Him and the rest of his crew. Weebay, Savino, uh, Stinker. Ah, intimidation saw. game. You think about clearing the court? On what basis? It's an open court and a free nation of laws. Huh. I thought it was Baltimore. Barksdale has five out of seven towers on the terrace. That's ten stairwells and five high-rises going 24-7 for dope and coke. And that's just the towers. The low-rises, the avenue corners, they're all his, too. How do you know this? Everybody knows it. Define everybody. By everybody on the west side. Well, I mean, we're a little busy doing street rips, you know? Community policing and all that. So if it's not your case, why do you care? Well, who said I did? The big issue at stake here. <laughs> you giving me the sat? Sure try. What's the extension for ECU? Do I look like your bitch? We taking the Mercedes? No. Oh Promise man. Cause in her name. Narcotics. Lieutenant. Line two. Here you go. R.I.P. Lance I'm ready. Not tight. Who the fuck can? Shit, Millennium been and gone, and we still fuck around with Smith Corona. Well, we need to get them computers hooked up. They promised to train us on that shit a year ago. What would an ass ignorant <laughs> motherfucker like you do with a computer? I don't know. Trade stocks and shit. <laughs> Jerk off, you mean? <laughs> we get them computers hooked up. Herc will be deep into some porn, and Chemo still be bagging out our 24s at home. Piece of shit. <laughs> gotta go upstairs. What's up? Deputy's still in some kind of piss fit. Major, no? He's up there now. Fuck it, Kimmy. You want a job done right, you got to do it your own self. <laughs> <laughs> what he means to say is that we are an effective deterrent on the war on drugs when we are on the street. Fucking motherfuckers up, Rack. Indeed. Oh, you can't even call this shit a war. Why not? Wars end. Huh? <laughs> you write that down? <laughs> You're going to use that later on. <laughs> you. Mulder and motherfucker, don't even think about coming back a murder. Don't even think of that shit. Too much paperwork. Tomorrow, Lieutenant. Don't fail me. 
What about homicide? I mean, if the guy's doing murders... Homicide major was in the same meeting. His people would be scrambling to get something on paper, too. I doubt they'd be willing to share it, but you can try. Barksdale. Avon. Got a D.O.B.? Got nothing. <laughs> Got nothing. Nolan's squad was up. That one should be theirs. Hey, it's a decom. Maybe comes back a natural death. You think? In the Poe homes? No fucking way. <laughs> oh, hold up. Major wants to talk to you before you roll out. What about? Fuck should I know? I'm only your sergeant. Sit the fuck down, detective. Something wrong? Listen. If that's the way... Put your ass in the chair. If that's the way the Major greets you, then something's wrong. Like, you effed up. You effed up. You're going to school, kid. Major, what is... No, no, don't major me, you backstabbing smart-ass piece of shit. What the fuck you doing over at the courthouse anyway? Why the fuck are you talking to some shitbag judge? These are for you, McNulty. This one over here is going up your narrow fucking Irish ass. And this bad boy over here is in your fucking eye. I'm upstairs answering questions about some project nigger I never even heard of who's supposed to have beat my unit out of ten murders. Three. They only beat three in court. I got the deputy asking about ten. Well, no, they did ten. We only charged them with three. I mean, Major, these guys are real. They beat me up on the Gerard Bogue case, just like they did Barlow. Scroggins? I don't have an age file on Scroggins. He was last year, summer. Two in the back of the head, low rise courtyard. Phelan, he and I, we, we go back a little, you know? He wanted to know what I know about the crew in his court. I didn't mean to cross you I up. had to go upstairs knowing nothing and explain to the deputy why he's getting calls about murders that don't mean a shit to anybody. Look, sir, this judge, he fucks me up. He asked me a question, I answer it. I didn't know he was going to call anybody. <laughs> you have my attention, detective. My complete, undivided attention. That's good, probably, you know. Deputy wants a report on his desk at 0800. A report? Clean, no typos. Make it look right, then put my name on it. Oh, wow. Do you want to reference all the murders, or should I soft pedal that? Fucking horse is out the barn door, right? Let's try not to make me look stupid twice. And when you list the cases, put a little dot next to each one. Deputy likes dots. I'm sorry, Major, really. Better be his little assistant for tonight. <laughs> Look what y'all did with that security lady, though. <laughs> Shit was tight, yo. <laughs> it's not real to me, therefore he doesn't exist. So Can't go wrong with Jay Z, man. Aww. <laughs> Even the car that passed him was jamming it. It must have been you. Did he drop the black album at this time? <laughs> What's the rule? know the rule say it don't talk in the car you'll be wired up on the phone or in any place that ain't ours and don't say shit to anybody who ain't us but it was just you yo it's your fucking truck don't talk in the car had to pull him up and set things straight That's a beautiful corner shot right there. Them across the street shots, if they're done well, whoo! Shit y'all pull with that security lady. <laughs> it was tight. <laughs> I mean, that state lawyer, I ain't never seen a white woman turn so red. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been there. <laughs> Yo, man, you family, okay? You're saying the wrong thing that still. That shit costs money. It costs time and money. You gonna make that right? No stuff. You gonna see when I get back to the tower, I'ma push them niggas. Walk out of here like that. Oh, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Might be a quieter. Sopranos type S where it's like it makes you love. root for the criminals in a way. <laughs> like, a heart it makes you sympathetic uh, to their cause. I went that way, but 
Doc Frazier didn't bite when this popped up. Are you seriously fucked? But at the same time, uh, unlike unlike the Sopranos, the feds in this show don't seem like pricks. They they they, they seem like honestly good people that are just doing their job and mucking around on the like you know cracking jokes and things like that. Where there's the FBI and the Sopranos. If you have seen the the Sopranos, my word at times. I did bad, Bunk. Well, my fault. Really. Judge Phelan pulled me up when the jury let the Barksdale kid go. Same being a judge and all. I let go of some shit. You raised a stink. Major got busted by the deputy ops. I could have a report by morning. See, there you go. You're giving a fuck when it ain't your turn to give a fuck. The sergeant just strolling around. <laughs> and of course, your partner over here has to go over to the courthouse and lay our business out in front of a judge. So you heard? Major calls me at home, says I should get in early, read over your shoulder. He put the dots, the dots. in. <laughs> Deputy loves dots. Fuck you and your dots. Look, all I did was answer the guy's questions. He's a fucking judge. And the deputy's the fucking deputy. And he, not the judge, has what's left of your beshitted career in his hot little hands. He says so. You're a walking foot in the Western tomorrow. Fuck it, I came from Western. <laughs> well, where don't you want to go, asshole? Evidence control? Personnel? <laughs> Headquarters security? The boat? The marine unit? Yeah, those diesel fumes that make me feel seasick. That's good, keep it up. I go this against a 10. You're riding the boat midnight shift. Are you gonna put me in the low rises when I had a tower since summer? Yeah, you had a tower. Gotta work your way up. You might have a tower again if you can keep your mind to shit. Yeah, you gotta work your way back up. This is fucked up. You show us you can run the pit and you'll be back uptown soon enough. <laughs> we'll know about this? We'll learn from your mistakes. That's the way it works. What do you think? Gotta get docked a few points before you can earn them back. Hey, yo, Bay. Yo. Get a little cousin here, ride down the way. Yo, you looking for Ronnie Moe? He uptown. I know. Nice race, Captain. Good. 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 I killed the nigga. Great job. Here we go. What was that for? What's the coffee do? Give it that money feel. Lucy is away. At least the way you got it on both sides this time, huh? Yeah. All right, give me the real. Yeah. Wait, why are, we, why are we gonna use real money? We're not burning no Lemon Street chumps here. Feel me? You get paid, you send the ass off around the building, yo, then you serve, all right? And we gotta start tightening up, man. No more shortcuts. What's your count? Count to seven. Stamping his authority. You want to count it? On the pit. I mean, I don't know how y'all do shit up in the towers, but down here, you want to count it. Oh, shit. Hey, yo, yo, ho, ho, ho. Y'all niggas been burnt. Huh? Huh? That's what you got to say? Huh? This look like money, motherfucker? Money be green. Money feel like money. That shit look green to you? Got a dead fucking president on it. Man, I don't give a fuck about the president. That shit ain't money. He ain't no president. What you mean? Hamilton? He ain't no president. Nigga, is you crazy? Ain't no ugly ass white man get his face on no legal motherfucking tender sep, he president. If this shit happen again, you go off the money. You hear me? You ain't even gonna be serving no more. <laughs> Your ass be out on the bottom end of Vine Street sucking on a 40 yelling 5 volts. You hear me? Get the fuck out of here. That it? Y'all know a lot, pups. Nah, nah, you, you, you green. Nah, I'm done. I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to get you brown, man, but you, you're still green. Can I make me brown? Yo, Dean. Yo, Bubs. 
Oh, I thought he was ordained for well, a Let second. me do the scam tomorrow. Come on, man, I'm ready. Bye, bust. Yes, sir. No long surveillances, no Kel recorders, no DNRs. Hey. I want to get in and out as quickly as possible. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Phelan isn't just a judge. He's a political entity. If he asks for something, I want to give it to him. Why is he asking about this box deal? <laughs> he watched the state's attorney get beat up in his court this week. <laughs> Badly. He lost a murder case. We lose cases all the time. But a judge happens to be asking about this one. Now, who are you using? Lead detective? Greggs. She's my best right now. I know her. CID for four months. Came over from Eastern DEU. Who's that Mr. Hudson <laughs> That's up to Major Rawls. I wouldn't be surprised if you get McNulty. You know McNulty? Not really. Well, he's the one who mouthed off to the judge in the first place. <laughs> that's he talked to the judge? Yeah, that's my understanding. So if he comes over on this... Watch your back. This whole you thing anything, you ask me. has been springboarded the help I can, from Jimmy no talking to the judge. Yes, <laughs> and he's coming with a reputation he now briefed. of talking behind their backs to the judge. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, they got a wire wire in there. Jesus Christ. Pretty fucking great, huh? How'd you get this on tape? It's not tape. That's live, brother. It's live? Live. From a three-story walk-up on Homer Avenue in the bottoms of Pimlico. Is this going on right now? As we speak. Hey, live streaming the event. Fiber optic lensing. Send in the Camera super chat. Home and drywall. So small looks like a nail might have made it. <laughs> Where's the mic? These motherfuckers sound great. Two remotes behind the baseboard heating ducts. That's about 3K or all on the table today. We followed all the way from New York. You up in New York on this? We could be. We're backing into some Dominicans up there. We could have a Title Three on them right now if we wanted. <coughs> Did she say I just got some Tech Nine over here? Let's see if Wallace two checks two. the money this hold up, time. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What? So you, just two and two. <laughs> Come on, man. I ain't got time. Hold up. I gave you 20, man. You gave me, you gave me 20? 20. One of the short three. So you get two. Seven. All right, hold up, hold up. Seven back. Come on, man. Right, hold Come hold on. Up. Calm down, down. Calm down. Calm down. Well, how much? Two and two. Hold, man, two and two. hold up, hold up, man. Hold up. You're fucking me up. Chill out. Come on, man. Hold up, hold up. All right. You dropping shit on the I'm just give me mine, man. What the fuck is you doing? What? What? Look at this shit. Look, oh, nigga. What? Look. That's the motherfucker right there. Who? The white boy right there. <laughs> hey, yo, poo. Grab that motherfucker. The white boy. <laughs> man, look at D, man. Hold up, man. <laughs> yo, what are you, what are you doing, man? Yeah. Oh, nigga. Uh. Yo, calm down. Yeah, calm, making me run. What the fuck is wrong with you? What, man? Why are you fucking with me? Shit. This the motherfucker right here with the make-believe money. Seen his ass dropping and shit. What's this, man? Yeah. Fuck him. It was this nigga. Oh. I saw him. Get the fuck up. Uh, listen, I'm sorry. Fuck that. Yo, what we need to do is motherfucker burn us for $30. We need to take him to Franklin Ave and throw his ass right onto the motherfucking expressway. All right, Look, man. Listen, I, I'm, I'm fucking sorry. I, I, I fucked up, man. What you got on? <coughs> Just the 10-hour drop, man. The real one. Well, what's up? Fuck. Ooh. Hell yeah! For now, e we e work out of narcotics. With everyone's just fire. a victim of the community we'll they're raised in. At the like, it's just down the hall. Fine with us. It's a systemic problem. And Tangela will work back on some of the open murders. See if anything can be manufactured there. What do you know about Avon Barksdale? What do we know? Yeah, the guy's owned all of Franklin Terrace for a year. What do we have on him right now? D.O.B.? Sheet? Via Vi photo? We don't even have a fucking photo of the guy. He's right. Give me a break, Jimmy. Two days ago, no one on this fucking floor knew this mope's name. Now he's some kind of criminal mastermind. 
Detectives McNulty and Santangelo going back down the hall to review any old murder files and try to manufacture a fresh prosecution. Now as things heat up, I'll go to the deputy and get us more manpower, but this case is not going to sprawl. A month from now, we're all going to be back at our day jobs. Fine. Bring me your hand-to-hands, anything on the murders, you can take to Eileen Nathan and violent crimes. I'll clue her in. Anything else? He been buttoning them up, them suits. <laughs> one last thing. No one does anything at all on the street without me knowing about it first. I doubt that. Chain of command, detective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone has to obey the chain of so command in this show. I doubt it's gonna happen. The judge gives me three weekends with no flex. I still lose. You two can't talk this through. No. Divorce problems. You always got the whole world pissed off at you. Be like that motherfucker at the end of Bridge on the River Kwai, you know? What the fuck did I do? The Bridge of what? You seen that movie? Mm -mm. I am fucked. Fucked is me. <laughs> Come on, honey, buy me a drink. How much? Twenty. I drink slow. My guy Avon sold some self restraint. My G. <laughs> oh, she just went straight to the next guy like that. On the midnight shift, I got two murders and a police shooting going down to do what? Get a goddamn mouse out of my wife's bedroom closet. Can you imagine that shit? <laughs> what did you do? What the fuck you think? I got the mouse out as fast as I could. Drove back to work. Couldn't do nothing else. Nadine out of her fucking mind over this little ass field mouse. I mean, she's up on the chair and shit when I come like some goddamn cartoon. I mean, how did you catch the mouse? Catch him? I lit his ass up. <laughs> Bust the cap in his ass. Not the mouse? Mm hmm You're nine? <laughs> First shot killed my wife's dress shoe. Got him with the second. <laughs> They walk down there, pow, pow, just straight to the mouse. What? You shot a mouse with your service weapon? He said, I ain't no, pl he said, I ain't playing no Tom and Jerry. Jerry dying. Yeah. Thought about leaving that little motherfucker there. <laughs> <laughs> Got him at close. Be a risk taker, baby. You still working drugs? Downtown, yeah. Is this the cousin, younger brother, older brother? Just a contact. So, uh, William Gant, 42, uh, 43 years old. Uh, we got pictures? Yeah, we got. Okay, let's roll it. Mr. Gant, do you see the man you identified sitting in the courtroom today? He was the guy that was the witness. He's right there. The one that didn't deny him. Probably Stringer and his boys. And he was just an honest man. Looked like he was a mechanic, doing his everyday job. Happened to be a witness because, you know, just happened to be in that block of units, in that tower. The domino effect, baby. The consequences of Avon's actions. You know, you might have been all, you know, happy dandy, cheering with the boys, cheering with the men, them, you know, once you beat the case. But there's that ongoing effect of potential individuals that can identify him in the future. Um, and that one person that didn't, I guess, bow down to uh, Stringer's fear. And I guess he was fearful um, in the witness box because you can see him. I was like, why is this guy trembling? Why is he shaking so much in the witness box? It's just... But it was the presence of those other individuals. And I guess 
it, it's a testament again to the area itself, the area of Baltimore. Um, you know that the community housing area, who runs that that that, that joint, um, and how much fee they inflict of the on on the people in those in those community residencies. And listen, it, it, it's it's a sad sight to see um, the way the living conditions of these individuals, how disgusting it is, you know, and it's just, it's just sad to see. It's a sad sight to see. And I'm guessing um, the show will delve deeper into that, into why it is like that and how they're going to sort of like weed out the problem. And if it is a problem, they can weed out because um, you see it, that type of issue, that type of um, community, um, there's communities like that in Sydney, there's communities like that in the U S like, so much today especially as the population continues to grow and there are some sort of areas there's only i guess so much the police can do um i guess in terms of like you know i don't know i don't know if it's a systemic issue but there's only so much people can do i guess and i guess that's what the wire is gonna be about it's gonna be from the perspective of the cops trying to you know um take down or sort of like weed out the 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 the, the people running these sort of towers and um sort of running these streets but at the same time we're getting the perspective of the people on the streets as well and we're going to sort of i guess sympathize with them and you know some people are born into this life they don't know any different and you know um there's no starting another life because of who they're mentored by about who their parents are and um how they're parented and the lack of parenting per se because like they probably grow up and they hang out with the kids on the street and those kids are connected with the other streets the kids on the street and it's just the way it is it's that ongoing flow that domino effect so yeah a very solid episode to begin the white listen nothing groundbreaking nothing shocking we're still setting the scene lots of establishing shots this episode and i feel like that's what this episode was establishing the characters establishing the mindset of the fbi um the baltimore server like the the, the competing agencies as well how they deal with one another you know homicide wants to keep this to themselves there's a drug division and everything like that and obviously setting the scene for you know the individuals that run um the sort of uh, baltimore drug scene as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction as always it's been your boiling Bozos. take care god bless peace